Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for September 29th of 2024 is titled Seven Dusty Sisters. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the Pleiades star cluster. And if you're not seeing the Pleiades there, like you're used to seeing, that's because we're looking at this in the infrared. If we looked at it in visible light, the Pleiades stars would stand out easily. But when we look at it in infrared, it highlights the dust because the dust emits a lot more infrared and therefore dominates the image. So here we are looking at that in the infrared and what we're seeing is the Pleiades star cluster happens to be passing through a dust cloud right now. So unlike some star clusters, which still have remnants of the material from which they formed, in this case, the Pleiades cluster just happens to be passing through this dust cloud and will eventually move out of it again. But in the meantime, it does affect it and giving it some of the filamentary structure that we see here in the detailed infrared image. Now, if you want to see the Pleiades as you're used to seeing, we can do that and overlay an image here. And that allows us to see the Pleiades star cluster. Now, that may be more what you're used to seeing, the many bright stars there of the Pleiades cluster, and just a few wisps of the dust around them. Now, when we see this, we see this as that bluish color of a reflection nebula. And that is what we see in the cluster here. So a reflection nebula occurs when we see the dust around a star scatters light and it preferentially scatters the blue light. It's much better at scattering short wavelengths. So the blue light gets scattered from the dust and appears to be coming from the dust. But that's not created by the dust itself. That is just scattered light. What the dust is actually emitting when it's heated up is infrared light. And that's why when we look at it in the infrared, we can see it much better here. So we can see a much more distinct image image of the dust in the infrared and in fact to the point where it essentially hides the stars of the Pleiades. So if you look between the two images there you can kind of see that sometimes you can match up some of the stars but you don't really see the Pleiades star cluster standing out the way it usually does in the sky. So that's one of the reasons that astronomers study things at various different wavelengths. We want to be able to study the stars. We want to look at them generally in visible light. That's where most of the starlight is given off. For dust, we want to look at infrared light or maybe even radio waves at the very longer wavelengths that allow us to study the dust in more detail. And that's because those objects are too cool to give off visible light. And of course, there are other far more energetic objects that we like to study in x-rays because they're giving off a lot of high energy light. So as we study things across the spectrum, as we can see here, we can get a completely different picture of the universe. Things can look very different when we look at them at different wavelengths. So that was our picture of the day for September 29th of 2024. It was titled Seven Dusty Sisters. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.